So welcome back friends. So today we have a very special video and recording simultaneously for our 360 viewers. If you'd like to watch this video in 360, you can go over to my Facebook page. Just search Rangra Star, Facebook forward slash Rangra Star, and you can have a look around the shop, see what's changed, what's going on. All right, so today, this is exciting. I've been waiting on this for, waiting for two days to do this. Uh, Liam Hoffman, uh, a very talented young blacksmith here on YouTube, has a channel. I'll put a link in the description. Has sent me a handmade, I think a camp axe, if I remember from the email, that I, have, I haven't seen it yet, haven't opened it yet. Uh, I was watching some of his videos last night, and man, he is, there's, a, there's some young guys out there that are really, really talented. Um, uh, Lee, uh, Hoffman is, is doing a nice job. I watched a video of him forging double-bitted axes. That's not an easy thing to do. There's Alec in the UK. His videos, he's just incredibly talented. But uh, let, let's dig into it. Let's, let's see what we got. This is, this is very exciting. I'm getting the fizz just, just thinking about it. Haven't cheated. I haven't looked inside. I have no idea what's in here other than a camp axe. Oh, peanuts. My favorite. Everybody loves peanuts here. Put my glasses on so I can see better. Well, I like the size already. This is, uh, this is, this is, oh, this is nice. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Made in America, USA. Nice, maker's mark. Boy, that is beautiful. You know, Liam, I have to say that this is, um, and I'm not saying this because I think it's what you want to hear. Boy, the leather work on that is exquisite. Give me a moment here. Boy, that is really nice. That is really nice. What a finish. All right, let's bring you in close. Let's, let's break it down here. All right, let's take a look here. This is a nice touch. Hoffman blacksmithing made in America. There's a picture of Liam outside of his shop. That's a nice, that's a nice touch there. Care for your ax. There's a picture of his anvil and a sticker. Liam Hoffman strives to produce the best axes you can buy. Everything created at Hoffman Blacksmithing is handmade using hard work and passion. With a combination of skill and forging, woodworking, leather craft, and metallurgy, we're able to give you the elite tool to last generations. We proudly stand behind our work for, with a lifetime warranty, including free handle replacement. And then he's got some how to care for your axes as well. He sent me a, an axe sharpening stone. I forgot to bring it in here. Well, I'll show that on another video, but it's really nice too. So first things first, let's take, I mean, the sheath. I mean, that is top shelf right there. This is my favorite type of sheath. I, I, don't, I don't like sheaths that, that go around with the strap and all of that. I think that this is so much nice. But that is nice work. Do you make these sheaths, Liam? Boy, look at, look at the finish. It's burnished. That is really nice. Oh, it is. Ooh, it's beyond sharp. It is beyond sharp. That is nice. Look at that maker's mark on there. So I was, as I was about, you know, there's interesting things, you know, the more I look at it, the more detail in there. It is kind of, I love the pattern. It's very similar. Let's, hey, well, let's grab one here. Let's grab, uh, let's grab a Grand Forest Brook small forest ax here. So you can see, so here's, here's what I was, was saying. This, this axe, you know, I have, I have so many of them, it's hard to find something that would actually work into my rotation, but there actually has been something that has been missing. And this, of course, has always been my favorite. Look at the similarities in the pattern between the small forest axe and the handle lengths are almost identical. I, I love the handle length, uh, but where this one has been lacking sometimes is in a little bit of weight on heavier duty work. It's just a little bit small. It's, it's great for camping. It's great for packing because of that, but it, um, for hard, hard, you, hard service work and 
where you have larger things to do. I have been wanting something like this that hadn't, this has twice the weight. I'll bet it's double, just guessing. I'll bet it's double the weight. But we don't have a big long handle. We've got a hand, this is a nice handle too. I like the shape of it. Boy, nice work. Properly hung too. The nice, look at the cheeks, nice cheeks down there. That, look how much contact you have with the wood. That's a handle that's gonna hang in there and last a long time. But a lot of work went into this handle. Very, very talented, of course. Wouldn't expect anything different there. That is a fine, fine piece of work. Handmade, look at that. Boy, it kind of throws a little shade on the Grand Force Brooks, doesn't it? It's just, it's the next level. I mean, I, mean, I, I love these axes, but it's the next level. It's, it, is, it is truly a premium. That just gives me the fizz. It just gives me goosebumps. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful axe, Liam. How talented you are. Can you imagine forging that out of, out of a billet? That's not an easy thing to do. My hat's, hat's off to anyone that can do that, but that is really nice. And the handle, is everything about it. It's, it's, there's three components to it. I mean, the sheath is just, I've never seen a finer sheath. I've never seen finer leather work. I mean, it's just beautiful. The fit, I like it's tight. Sometimes when you guys will make a sheath, I've made them this mistake before and, and made everything fit perfectly. And then when the leather gets used and stretched a little bit, then it's too loose and it falls off and it's nice and tight. It's beautiful. And the handle, that's a, that's a big chunky ax. That's really nice. I like this detail on the pole. Look at that. You see right there, you can see it there. Just that, I've never seen that done before. It kind of a, what it reminds me of, you know, like an old, like a war hammer. It comes out the back, you know, it kind of, kind of comes in. It's like a dovetail, like a really light dovetail right there. That's a nice detail. It looks good. It makes the, it sets the axe apart. North Carolina, USA. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I won't be needing to sharpen this, I'll tell you that. Boy, that is sharp, Liam. I can't say that I could get it sharper than that. Let's do the hair, see if there's any hair left on my arm. My goodness, look at that. I can't say I've ever seen a sharper, look at that. I can't say I've ever seen a sharper X than that. You could shave. I'd be hard pressed to get an edge like that on there, to be honest with you. I would be hard pressed to get an edge that good. Beautiful, man, that is beautiful. Well, my hat's off um, to, to Liam, that is a, that is well done. I mean, gone are the days. To be able to buy something of this quality, American-made, I mean, really, to be honest with you, as far as I know, and I, I, you know, I'm pretty into this stuff, uh, was not possible uh, to buy something American-made like this. I mean, there may have been some small enclave somewhere that, you know, pre-internet, I'm sure, of course, there was, but uh, no one had access to it unless you knew the guy locally. Uh, but now... We have a, an American-made option of like the pinnacle of axe building. You know what I'm seeing here. Of course, you know we'll go out and we'll, I'll, I'll work with it. I'll try it. This will, I'll swap it out out of my scabbard and work with Liam's axe uh, for a while on the next few projects, and we'll report back on it. But you know I've been around these enough to know that it's a, uh, it's a lot of detail in here. That it's going to be a nice, a nice axe. But as I was saying, you know, before, so there was, you know, what was there? There was John Neiman, of course, makes fine axes, or Grand Force Brooks in Sweden. Um, 
this is a this is another level above a Grand Force Brooks axe. This is this is 100% handmade. Um, where as nice as the Grand Force are, you know, there's a lot of machinery and a lot of assembly line in there, and, and, I, and I don't have anything bad to say about them. But this is more special to me. Special to have something 100% made from scratch, and it's beautiful. I'm really, admire, really admiring the carpentry work. If you do that, Liam, I don't know. But whoever did it is very talented. Well done. All right. So I'll put Liam's information on there and, and I go over and subscribe to his channel. Uh, I'm going to put at the end of this video a link to the him forging the double bitted axes, which is pretty interesting. Um, I, and I'd uh, encourage you to watch over there and, and support him, support Liam for um, um, taking a gamble and starting this business. And it's hard work to be a production blacksmith. I don't know that there's any harder work and young guys that are willing to take that on um, and to improve them, themselves and, and to, to be able to produce something of this quality to me is, um, well, you have my respect, I'll tell you that. So. All right. Thank you, Liam. It's beautiful. I, um, I don't know what to say. We'll see you guys on the next video.